Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics, They're Bad For You, the name of my YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on BitChute, the name of my BitChute channel is Comic Freak. Today we're going to be talking about how Ryan Johnson said to be out from Star Wars and Lucasfilm. It looks like Disney is looking to cut the fat away from Lucasfilm, and that fat is Ryan Johnson. Hopefully Kathleen Kennedy and J.J. Abrams are soon to follow suit. But right now we can settle for Ryan, so let's get into this article. I basically called this back in August of 2018, but now it is being rumored that Ryan Johnson is out from Disney, Star Wars, and Lucasfilm. The rumor comes via TVO from the Lords of the Longbox YouTube channel, who recently got that Green Lantern HBO Max scoop correct. The rumor also follows confirmation from both Disney CEO Bob Iger and Ryan Johnson himself that no new movies are in active development for Star Wars, and also that Game of Thrones creators are no longer involved. Hey, all right, those lords of the long box are usually correct with their assumptions and their rumors, and I'm glad they're probably batting a hundred right now. Because with the performance of The Last Jedi, even though it made over a billion dollars, with all of the critical, and I mean critical, pandering it's getting, Disney has no choice but to get rid of Ryan Johnson. And I am glad... Ryan Johnson gone from Star Wars and Lucasfilm details. It's claimed that multiple insiders are saying that Ryan Johnson is out at Lucasfilm. It's said his proposed Star Wars trilogy at Disney is dead at Lucasfilm. That following the mixed reactions and understatement surrounding The Last Jedi that Johnson's future with the franchise is cast in doubt. <laughs> Most assuredly, it's cast in doubt. Is Disney really going to trust this guy with a trilogy after he completely made that turkey? It's said Disney doesn't want any bad publicity or controversy with The Mandalorian launching on Disney Plus next week. They also don't want controversy when The Rise of Skywalker comes out in December, so they are holding off any official announcement regarding the fate of Ryan Johnson for now, but Johnson is gone. It's further said that Lucasfilm is in a creative rebooting pattern with Star Wars, which is the reason for that recent Kevin Feige tackling Star Wars announcement in something that was also used to regain fan support as Feige's Marvel movies are loved by so many. Regarding Ryan Johnson's Star Wars vision, it's said he even wanted to go further with his distinct vision, but that Disney doesn't want to stray too much away from its core properties and rich history. Disney feared Johnson's distinct vision would continue to anger the hardcore fans. Johnson's Star Wars trilogy is said to have taken place after the rise of Skywalker, where it would have rebooted everything with a brand new characters and franchises. Multiple sources are saying Disney doesn't like what Ryan Johnson had planned. It's also being claimed that Kevin Feige will eventually be taking over Star Wars and that Kathleen Kennedy may step down in 2020, though recent reports suggest that isn't true, which of course could be because Disney wants to avoid controversy prior to The Mandalorian and Rise of Skywalker. Expect huge announcements at a later date, possibly Star Wars Celebration 2020 or prior. Now, this is all good news. The one thing I have an argument with is when they said that uh, Disney didn't want to stray too far against their core fans. They've already done that. They've already ruined Star Wars and probably even killed the franchise, period. So I think no course correcting is going to save the property. And Disney is now stuck with the Star Wars turkey. <laughs> Here's your moment of zen. Here's a picture of Kathleen Kennedy I got out of the article. And look at that woman next to her. Are they sisters? Because they almost look identical. You know, I heard a theory once that said all leftists look alike, but this is taken to the ninth degree. I thought you'd all find it funny if I brought it up, so breathe it in. It's just hideous, isn't it? Like tooth Kathleen Kennedy's, my god. If you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is going to run unsubscribing people, so make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you have not subscribed, please subscribe to me. Subscribe to Read Comics, They're Bad For You, the name of my YouTube channel. Then go over to BitChute and subscribe to my BitChute channel, Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications, hit that like button, and leave some comments down below. And could you please share this video? Share it on Twitter and share it on Facebook. Share it anywhere you think it would do the most good because YouTube is not going around promoting their YouTube creators anymore, and it would really help me if you could please share this video. Now, 
It's plug-in time. Keep checking back in future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book, Scum Dogs. I'm Chris Williams, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.